Hey, astrology lovers, what is up? It's me, Stella Wild, and I'm here to talk to you today about Jupiter going direct in Scorpio and how that's going to improve your luck. So stay tuned. deal about Jupiter going retrograde anyway? Well, Jupiter is the planet of luck and manifestation. And when it goes retrograde, its powers are diminished. And you can feel like you're not making traction in your life toward your most cherished hopes, wishes, dreams, and goals. You may just feel like life is on hold. But the exciting news is that Jupiter is direct as of July 10th. It is moving forward once again in the sky and our chances of manifesting fantastic things increase a hundredfold. So if you want to learn how this good luck may manifest in your life, stay tuned for the rest of the video where I break it down sign by sign. For Aries, Jupiter goes direct in your eighth house. The last several months, you've had ample time to get to know yourself better and finally find the key that unlocks one of the deepest mysteries to your psyche. Now that you see how to set yourself free, you can make great gains in how you relate emotionally to others. Our primary relationship is with ourself. When we know ourselves better, our relationships strengthen because they are built on honesty. Sometimes Aries doesn't like this deep dive discomfort of quote, soul searching. But the last few months, you've embraced the process of reckoning with yourself and all that has changed in your life during the last seven years. You will be ready to move forward and take responsibility for yourself and there will be one new relationship in which you will finally understand what real intimacy is all about. For Taurus, Jupiter goes direct in your seventh house. The last several months you've had to deal with ghosts, ghosting, and ghouls People have literally gone missing, ghosting from your life without explanation or warning. Ghosts of relationships past have haunted you at night, and you've been reevaluating where and how it, quote, all went wrong. Hopefully, all this rumination has brought you to the realization that some people are just one line in our story, and others are chapter length. As you write your book of the self the next few months, you will see that you are the author of your relationship story. Ghosts hang around when they're not at peace. Ghouls make trouble so that you can practice your powers of discernment. As you forgive yourself for being human in your relationships, the haunting will cease. By the end of this transit in November, new love is on the horizon. For Gemini, Jupiter goes direct in your sixth house. The last several months, you've been wanting to get better, physically, mentally, emotionally, yet little has changed. The old Gemini tricks of telling a few jokes, denying what's really going on, and then just flat out running away have not gotten you anywhere. WTF. Scorpio is calling you out on your shit, Gemini, and Scorpio doesn't play. It's time for some real psychic surgery. It's time to cut out the emotional gangrene that's been infecting your mind and negatively affecting your physical health. It's time to get real with your healing. A little antiseptic and a band-aid is not going to cut it in this instance. 
and you've figured that out the last few months. You will make that hard decision, Gemini, to cauterize the person or situation that has done more to hurt than heal you. And after you do, the universe will step in and show you what real healing is all about. For Cancer, Jupiter is going direct in your fifth house. The last several months, life has been pretty much a bleak shit show for tender-hearted Cancerians. You can thank Pluto transiting in Capricorn opposite your sign for that, as well as Saturn in Capricorn, both of which have caused you heavy pain and responsibilities concerning other people. Ill-timed events, out-and-out -out catastrophes, and emotional upheaval have left you drained, to say the least and wondering if you're ever going to get a break. Thanks to recent events, you're not expecting much, just a little relief. Jupiter going direct will bring you just that, more joy than you have felt in a long time. Lighthearted people will arrive and invite you to the hometown summer carnival. Go. You need a ride on the Ferris wheel, a cotton candy kissing your lips, and a glittering prize from the spinning wheel when it lands on your number. For Leo, Jupiter goes direct in your fourth house. The last several months may have had you treading carefully as your surroundings began revealing all sorts of giant sinkholes that you had to avoid so that you didn't fall into them emotionally never to be seen or heard from again. Yet the ground around those sinkholes is fragile, tender, trembling. One wrong move and disintegration. But here's the thing. Like Gemini, you can't just avoid the problem or think in that Leo way of yours that someone else should solve it. Whatever's in need of mending, at the very foundation of your life needs to be fixed by you. What created those emotional sinkholes in the first place? Envy, bitterness, and inability to forgive the past? As Jupiter in Scorpio goes direct, you will understand that moving on to a better place can only happen when you get your current house in order and you will. For Virgo, Jupiter goes direct in your third house. The last several months you've been tasked with learning how to communicate with love. Darling nitpicking Virgo can sometimes turn people off in conversation with their ability to criticize helpfully. Your efforts to be of service in this way have backfired on you recently, and you've had to dig deep and look at why people at work sometimes run away from you at the water cooler. They don't want to hear your latest observations to improve their posture, hairstyle, or eating habits, or their job performance. No one's asking you to be fake, heaven forbid, but look at how your discerning eye and honest tongue can be used in a way that is transformative and not destructive. As Jupiter in Scorpio goes direct, relationships, especially with coworkers or people you interact with regularly on a daily basis, will improve because you will make a genuine effort to give at least two genuine compliments to every one criticism and only then if they ask you for your perspective first. For Libra, Jupiter goes direct in your second house. The last several months, you've been wondering why jobs have fallen through, the money hasn't come, and other people have been less than impressed with your efforts. The second house is all about how our personal self-worth and value work synergistically with how and what we manifest in this world. You've been reevaluating how you sell yourself short and let other people play you for a fool. 
What you've been working on has not exactly aligned with the vision you have for yourself. And as a result, the benefits have not been forthcoming. People have been running a mile from the stench of inauthenticity emanating from your direction. As you reevaluate what makes life sweet for you, as you, and by you, the perfume in the air turns to roses. The minute you stop poisoning yourself by thinking first of what other people want you to be, you'll manifest more authentic abundance. For Scorpio, Jupiter goes direct in your first house. The last several months have found you flagging a bit in the optimism department, wondering if all the changes you recently put into place were good ones. You've basically been emotionally second-guessing yourself, not trusting yourself, and maybe even self-sabotaging a bit. Life came down hard on you when Saturn transited Scorpio from October 2012 to September 2015, and you were forced to make life-altering decisions. You simply don't trust Jupiter's largesse in your life at the moment, and that's understandable. We can waver in our faith when life is challenging. However, ultimately, our level of trust in the universe is in direct proportion to our trust in ourself. The Jupiter retrograde is bringing up these self-trust issues. Can you believe again in your ability to manifest what you really want? Yes, you can. After Jupiter goes direct, your word is your wand. Speak only magic and watch it manifest before your very eyes. For Sagittarius, Jupiter goes direct in your 12th house. The last several months, you've been questioning if the universe has it in for you. It's felt as though the universe has been suited up in spurs and you are the unlucky horse it's been riding into the ground as it jabs you with painful reminders of all the shit you've been trying to make sense of spiritually so that you can finally let it go and move on. Yet, through it all, someone has been on your side. Someone has been saying a little prayer for you and lighting a candle with your name on it. As Jupiter goes direct, your guardian angel will make him or herself known. He or she may not look like anything you would be expecting, and that's the miracle in it. Graciously accept their healing energy and do not try to cling onto it. When Jupiter enters Sagittarius in November, they will depart lovingly, their work done. For Capricorn, Jupiter goes direct in your 11th house. The last several months, the universe has shifted the goalposts. You want to score big, yet something has not felt right. You probably charge down the field of your life only to trip halfway and fall on your face because your shoelace was untied. You lay there a while, your chin scuffed with grass, bones aching from all the effort, wondering why things just couldn't go right for a change. Delay is sometimes designed by fate. Plus, the universe made sure the delay didn't cause too much damage. You just lost a little time, but it was time well spent getting yourself together, brushing yourself off, and making sure you had the right goal in mind. When Jupiter goes direct, the ball's back in play, and kick-ass Capricorn, there is no stopping you. For Aquarius, Jupiter goes direct in your 10th house. The last several months may have found you on the edge of glory, hanging from a moment of truth. Thanks, Lady Gaga. With Scorpio on your 10th house, your best work comes from pursuing life's mysteries. Like a psychic soul detective, you probe the depths of big truth and put it into a form that other people can use to better their lives. 
While Jupiter backtracked, you were working on the biggest mystery of your life thus far. How to feel comfortable stepping into your own power. Sometimes the knowing scares you a little, but you're discovering that a passion to share your gifts can override your fears. After Jupiter goes direct, there will be many moments of truth that shine the spotlight on you and how you are doing all you can to help the world. Altruistic Aquarius is not in it for the glory, but allow yourself to revel a little in the praise that's going to come your way. You deserve it. For Pisces, Jupiter goes direct in your ninth house. The last several months have found your search for meaning deepen, as Neptune traveling through your first house is bringing up issues of where you need to get real in your life. People are leaving the scene and they may go leaving a wake of destruction. It's a wave you don't like to ride, sensitive Pisces. The last several months, Jupiter retrograde has had you reevaluate your life philosophy. How can we still love people even when they hurt us? Or how can we stop loving them when they do hurt us? How can we love ourselves when others are projecting their unloving shit upon us? When Jupiter goes direct, you'll find yourself in calmer emotional waters, sailing along on a boat you've named self-reliance. This doesn't mean you won't have love in your life. On the contrary, you'll have a greater love for yourself as you realize that you can chart a new course for your life that opens up a vista of clear skies and hopeful stars to guide you forward. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you get all the latest updates about astrology and tarot from me, Stella Wilde.